Hey, how's it going guys? This is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with another highly requested video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the back housing on a Fitbit Versa 3 and a Fitbit Sense. So let's begin. We have the Fitbit Sense here. Power's on, everything's good. What we want to do is turn on the heat and start warming up the watch with the heat gun. Don't add too much heat because it could burn your LCD and it most likely will. Now we'll go ahead and take the, it's like a thin tool, just to kind of go underneath the screen. I like to go on the right side, opposite of button, because it seems like it goes in the easiest that way. And then just make our way around. Sometimes you do have to use some extra heat just to help it, help it out a little bit more. Make sure not to go too much inside because because then you could damage the LCD. So, some parts are a little bit more tough to kind of go through, but now I like to go back to the button side because that's where I can actually pry up. So as you can tell, there's the seal around the screen and what we're gonna do is take our two T2 screwdriver and we're gonna unscrew this the shield and the four and the other two screws. Take off the shield, pull off the screen, make sure just to pry up. Don't pull it all the way up, just slightly go. And then what I like to do is I like to unhook the ribbons. Just use this plastic pry tool, it's not going to damage any components. So what we're going to do is just unplug everything, set it back down, take the T2 screwdriver, unscrew the rest of the two screws. And then now we're going to pop the board out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the replacement part, put everything back together. The board, the battery, all the ribbons back on. And I wouldn't turn on the watch until I actually plug in all the ribbons. Now I can plug in the battery and then make sure to put the shield on. What we're gonna do is go underneath the crease first, make sure that it goes underneath that crease on the right side. We're gonna put the screws back in. And now what we're gonna do is take the 704 glue and we're gonna work our way around. Just make sure to add a good layer, not too, not too much. Just a good amount to have it there. What we're gonna do is put it on. You will see some black on your finger, but that's that's okay. You could always wash it off. And next, see it turned on, everything's good. Next, we're gonna put the clamp, clamp on, make sure all the edges are down. And we're gonna let it sit like this for about 24 hours to make sure it cures all the way 100% and that is how you replace the back housing on a Fitbit Versa 3 and a Fitbit Sense. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.